What's up everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel and in a previous video we unboxed our new Makita dust solution or as you know some people call it vacuum cleaner. It's cordless, it's a HEPA, it's awesome and if you wanted to see more about that vacuum you can go right to this video here but all the comments in that video said Vince it's got Bluetooth capability, pair it with a tool. So we are in this video. We're gonna unbox a new tool that we're going to pair this vacuum with and it's coming right up. All right, here's the deal. We have Makita's, this is their LXT BL, which means brushless. Motor, XPT, AWS. This is their cordless drywall sander. This is a great solution for finishers that do work like we do in commercial real retail spaces, schools, hospitals, because it helps you to keep the dust down, especially schools. Okay, you got little kids, you know, we do preschool work, kindergartens. You got little kids that are on the floor. You don't want them getting up off the floor covered in a white film because you weren't able to get all the dust up when you cleaned overnight, especially us. Even if we do overnight projects, the next morning, the school by and large needs to be fully operational. And if you don't have a containment solution like this one, that dust get, picks up, get picked up by the HVAC system or just through I don't know, osmosis, I don't know. Just through doing the work can carry out of your space, even if you're all tarped up, it just seems to carry that fine particulate, okay? It can carry throughout the school, get in other spaces. But if you have something like this to help contain that dust, the cleanup is much easier, so much easier. You're still gonna have to do some cleanup, but this will help you. It also is good to have a good drywall finisher that doesn't slather on the joint compound excessively where you have to do an enormous amount of sanding, but this is a powered unit. You'd be able to take that down quickly and contain a lot of the dust, but you'll see that this is Bluetooth capable. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do the entire video where we pair this thing up, or not, or if we want to do that in a separate video, stay tuned. We might be able to jam it all in. This is an unboxing. You'll see that this is the XLSO1T. There will be a link down in the description below for this kit, the sander, and the vacuum down in the description below. This kit comes with two 5 amp hour batteries. The tool itself comes with a three year warranty. So that's the batteries, the charger, and the tool comes with a three-year warranty. I'm gonna tell you, pretty cool stuff. And one of the projects in recent years we've been doing is where we do what's called a project runway. Uh, one of our clients, they're either rebranding existing schools or acquiring new buildings, new schools, and then they're rebranding those schools to their brand. And a lot of the schools that they acquire or are rebranding, I mean, you have a bunch of kids and young, young toddlers. Sometimes kids cry. So for acoustic reasons, they in the past put what's called wall carpet, wall carpet on the walls. They're moving away from that spec or specification or the, you know, the finish for those walls. So part of, of, of Project Runway is to remove that wall carpet and drywall, okay? What would happen is you gotta pull down that wall carpet and either because of the adhesive that's left, you either have to rip out all of the drywall that's there or laminate the walls. If you wanna find out what laminating a faster way to get those walls refinished. And quite frankly, with the kind of adhesive that's on those walls, skin coating, in my opinion, is not really as fast. 
you could laminate those walls. If you wanted to find out about laminating drywall and how it's done, go to this video here. Okay. But in that project, th that is where a lot of this would come in unbelievably handy. Now, I'm already like excited, really excited because this tool comes with an awesome carry bag to put your, to put your drywall sander in. That's awesome. That is awesome. Wow. All right, cool. So when you're done, you could put all of your sanding, maybe your sanding sheets, everything can go right into this bag. This is really awesome. Keeps everything together. It's got a nice zipper on it. Okay, we have, we have some pockets in here for storage. I, I would assume that that's for extra batteries. This is a tie strap, kind of cinch the whole bag down. It looks as though. A lot of straps in here. I'm gonna have to read the instructions just to make sure that it, everything gets cinched away properly. And here are the instructions. So this, these are the Bluetooth instructions. I'm gonna set those aside. We have a fast charger instruction manual, the limited warranty, the entire tool line, the 18, their 18 volt tool line leaflet, and then the cordless drywall sander instructions. I'm gonna hold on to all of those. Okay, we're gonna take out this piece of cardboard here. I, I feel like there's probably a solution for everything inside this box to go in that bag. Next out of the box is the rapid charger. Awesome rapid charger. I think you can even set this rapid charger to sing you a tune if you wanted. But this is a fan cooled rapid charger. This will charge their, if they're lithium ion batteries, they're 14.4 to 18 volt batteries. They're nickel metal halide hydride, hydride. I forgot the name of it. Leave it down in the comment section below how you pronounce that phonetically. Those two five amp hour batteries. <coughs> the drywall dust got me. I'm only kidding, there's no drywall dust in here. Two, your two five amp hour batteries that you're gonna need to run your drywall sander. Whoa, I will say this. The battery's not on here. This is nice. Fairly, fairly lightweight compared to some other solutions. They give you a single drywall sanding disc or sheet. And this is, I guess, this is exactly what it looks like. You wanna do your best to line your, your holes up on your sanding disc. This is 120 grit sandpaper with the holes on the pad the hook and loop pad, because this is where the suction happens. Let us know down in, below, in, the, in the comment section below. Do you like when we do an unboxing video like this? Where you experience it with us as we unbox it? Or would you prefer us to unbox the tool? I mean, this is the first time I'm using this tool. Right? This is going to be the first time. It's the first time I'm, I'm laying hands on this tool outside of maybe a, a demonstration. This is the first time I, I'm, I'm getting to know you, getting to know all about you. Right? Do you like experiencing that with us? When I do that, I unbox it and we do this together? Or would you prefer me to unbox this stuff? read all the directions, fumble around with it in private, okay? And then come on here like I know all about it. I know all about this. You know what I mean? I, I feel like you prefer the real deal, like we do this together. Me, Nick, the very cool gang, we go about this. I tell you how I feel about it as I unbox it. And then down the road, after I've used it, then I know all about it. I could tell you all about it when we do maybe a long-term update or maybe a, a few weeks in after I've used it, we could talk about it. Let me know what you prefer. I don't know what this thing is for. I'll assume that it's just a tray, you know what I mean? So you don't get dust on the floor. But I don't know. It could be almost anything. I, I don't know. But I'm not acting like I know. We're just unboxing this thing right now. 
So, this is the thing. Nick can cut this part out. The reality is, though, I need to, I need to find out what that is. You and me. Just the two of us, you and I. That's why we're buds, okay? Because we can hang like this. And I could be my, I could be myself. You know what I mean? I don't have to pretend. Oh, oh, okay. Now, here we go. This is gonna make lots of sense. And you're gonna be so, like, you know, you're gonna be so happy you were hanging out with me when we, did, when we decided to find this out. Here's the deal. I'll put the charger there. We will charge these batteries. And these are, I mean, I, you know, during a, a, a traditional unboxing, we would weigh the batteries. And, it, and this tool does take two of them. Here's the thing. Just the two of you to run this sender, right? Here's the deal. They're, they're, they're nothing to sneeze at. You gotta, you gotta attach these, okay, after they're charged, to the tool. But I will say this. The tool itself is already lighter than a corded variant that I've used extensively in the past. I will say that. There was a couple of questions I had here. It didn't make, make sense to me at first, but now they do, okay? So, didn't know what this was for. Now I do. Okay, inside this bag, there's a latch, uh, uh, a piece of um, Velcro, right? What you do is you put this inside the bag and then you strap it down. I guess any dust on the head will stay inside this tray, okay? If there's some other reason, let me know down below, but that seems to be what it is, okay? You'd have a couple of slots here. Pretty awesome bag, if you ask me. Okay, we have a couple of slots here. Looks like for batteries. Wow, look at that. Yo, so look, in the slots, right, you have either two compartments here, right? You can put two batteries. I feel like you could fit even more batteries in there. I mean, you might even be able to fit four batteries. Whether it's exactly what that's for, I don't know, okay, but, this side, you put a couple batteries. Over here, okay, you throw your charger. So you have everything in this bag. This is like thoughtfully, thoughtfully, thoughtfully designed. We got a little, another little strap here, okay. And here, okay, now we're strapped down in our bag. We have our charger, we have a couple of batteries in here. That's a solution. That's a so like this is unreal. Like this is a this is not only this is a bag. This is a transport solution. I don't want to call this a tool bag. This is a tool transport solution they provided. Just like they have a, sta a sanding solution, it goes with their dust solution. This is some awesome stuff. Okay, and then it will cinch down. You have more side storage here, both sides. In the back, we have some side storage here. I want to see a designated place for um, sanding discs. This would be this would be a perfect spot for sanding discs. I mean, the whole package is fairly lightweight. Everything's in here that that you need. I know what you're all thinking. What is this brush? Why is this brush not attached? As we pull it out of the bag, you'll see that the brush gets attached here on the sander head. Okay, so it snaps in place. It puts brushes around the sanding head so that the drywall dust is sucked in through the head, through the vac, and out of the tool instead of dropping to the floor. Okay, these brushes help with making that possible. You'll see that the tool itself, okay, has little roller guides. Now, this brush comes off and snaps in position over here for storage. And you would use these roller guides, you would use this to ride along an inside corner. 
If it's up against an inside corner, okay, the wall is creating that closed in effect and allowing the dust to be sucked down into the head. So if you were riding along an, in, an inside corner, okay, you wouldn't have to worry about the dust coming out the inside corner because of no brush being there. The wall is, is containing it and the dust is being sucked in right here. Pretty cool. It does have an adjustable length shaft here for you to get you know, higher up on the, on the walls. Depending on your ceiling height, maybe even on the ceiling. We, we back that out, we drop it back in, okay. We have a, an over temp indicator light here, that's all that is, as well as a speed dial. Now, no matter what number you start on, whatever RPM you're set to, this will start, it has a soft, soft start to it. I'll tell you that in speed one, we have 1,000 RPM, okay? In speed two, we have 1,200 RPM, speed three, 1,400 RPM, speed four, 1,600 RPM, and speed five, 1,800 RPM. When changing the speed dial from five to one, turn the dial counterclockwise. Do not turn the dial clockwise forcibly. Whoa! So this is actually 18 volt tool. So it won't be, we won't have two batteries hanging off of this thing. We have a single five amp hour battery that's fully charged. I gotta tell you something. Now that it's a single, that's really lightweight and you don't have to worry about a cord. Wow. We're fully extended. And this is balanced really well. You'll see that's, that's speed five. If we go down to speed four, and, and you're able to, it, it seems as though you're able to, whatever speed you need in between as well. So that's two. And that's one, two, three, four, five. And you know, like you see, there, there is a soft start. They also have what seems to be a support belt for this tool. So they have an extension handle that attaches to the tool here and then here. And then what happens is you use that extension handle in conjunction with a belt and a cradle that allows you, I guess, to cradle the tool and, and get up into the, into the ceiling and higher areas with the tool. It adds some support. Pretty cool. I will say though, overall, this is fairly lightweight. It does have onboard storage for its Allen key. It also has, th th this is, just so you know, this is not a variable speed switch, right? So it's on and it's off. All of the variable speed need to be done through the speed dial here. What it does have though is, I mean, think about it. You're gonna be sanding an entire room, an entire building, okay? You won't, maybe won't wanna to have to hold this switch the entire time. You're able to press the, the trigger and then lock, lock the trigger on, okay? That's the lock position. All you gotta do to take it out of the lock position is tap the button, boom, it stops. Now, if you didn't want somebody, I don't know, actuating the trigger by accident at all, you could always just lock the trigger. You're not able to use the tool. Before you could use the tool, you need to press that button in again. Okay, this is made and designed to be used with a Makita dust solution. This is the XCV16. It's a 36 volt vacuum. Okay. So we have our vac hose. 
into our drywall sander. You'll see there's a little ridge here on the nozzle. There's a little ridge, two little ridges inside this inlet here. So you're going to pop it in until you have a little click. Hear that? Boom. You're ready to go. I will say with the hose, and this is, this is a, like a, a pull along hose as well. And the other thing is, is that because of the length of the hose, you're able to work you know, a nice distance away from the vac. Good part is, is that it's got, they got really good wheels on them. It will follow you along. I gotta tell you, this is an awesome solution. I feel like Makita has thought of absolutely everything, okay, from using the tool, the ergonomic, the balance, the weight, the dust solution for it, unbelievable, great dust solution, it's a HEPA, and even storing the tool. They've made this, this unit lightweight. They were able to get the job done by using a single 18 volt battery here on the tool itself. You even have optional accessories to make it more versatile. This is really awesome. And if you like tools, that are versatile and awesome and make you more productive and help you save on cleanup time and make sure little kids aren't covered in white dust if they're playing on the floor in the school that you worked in the night before when they go to school the next day, then smash the like button. Also, if it's your first time here, you're not already, you're gonna wanna get subscribed and tap the bell. Why do you wanna get subscribed and tap the bell? Because we do emergency tool deal videos all the time we find the best prices on tools just like this. Sometimes those emergency tool deal videos that we do only last a matter of minutes. People have saved thousands of dollars on our emergency tool deal videos. Never miss one. Don't spend thousands when you could spend hundreds. Tap the bell, get subscribed. With that, I wanna say I appreciate each and every one of you being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We're gonna see you on the next one. If you have an interest in how to Bluetooth pair these two tools pair with a Bluetooth. You'll find that in the next video. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy and you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet. Well, smash this button here after that. Watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.